Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to enable virtualization on your computer. Virtualization allows you to run multiple operating systems simultaneously, opening up a world of possibilities. But before we begin, let's quickly understand what virtualization is. Virtualization is a technology that enables you to create and run virtual machines also known as VMs on a single physical computer. This virtual machines behaves like a separate computer, allowing you to run different operating systems and applications within isolated environments. Now let's take a closer look at the detailed steps to enable virtualization. First, you will need to check if your processor supports virtualization. Please note that the availability and naming of virtualization support fields may vary depending on the system information tool or CPU identification utility you are using. Ensure that you are using a reliable and trusted utility to obtain accurate information about your processor's virtualization support. For example, as you can see here, I am using Intel processor identification utility for Intel processors. And as you can see, our processor does support Intel virtualization technology. Ok, once you confirm that your processor does support virtualization technology, then you can continue this procedure. Start by restarting your computer. During the boot process, you will need to access the BIOS or UEFI settings. The key to enter these settings varies depending on your computer manufacturer. It could be the escape, F2, F10 or delete key. You can check your computer's manuals or manufacturer website for specific instructions. Once you are inside the BIOS or UEFI settings, navigate to the advanced or system configuration settings. The exact location may differ depending on your system but it's generally located in the main menu. Look for an option related to virtualization. In most cases, it's labeled as virtualization technology, VT-X for Intel processors or AMD-V for AMD processors. However, the terminology may vary depending on your system. Enable the virtualization option by selecting it and changing the settings to enable or check the enable box. You can typically navigate using the arrow key on your keyboard and make selections using enter key. Once done, save the changes and exit the BIOS or UEFI settings. These steps vary depending on your system, but you can usually do so by pressing the F10 key to save and confirm the changes. That's it, you have successfully enabled virtualization on your computer. Keep in mind that the steps and options in BIOS or UEFI settings can vary depending on your computer's manufacturer and model. If you encounter any difficulties or unable to locate the virtualization option, refer to your computer manuals or contact the manufacturer's support for further assistance. Ok, as you can see, the virtualization is enabled. Now you can take advantage of the power of virtual machine. Now you can run different operating system, test software, experiment with configuration and create isolated environments for various purposes. Enabling the virtualization through the Windows Registry Editor is not recommended method as it can have unintended consequences and potentially cause system instability. However, if you still wish to proceed with modifying the registry, please follow these steps carefully. Note, modifying the registry can be risky and it's always recommended to backup your system and create a restore point before making any changes. If you don't know how to create a system restore point, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type Reg Edit and press Enter to open the Windows Registry Editor. Navigate to the following registry key. First, expand HKey Local Machine Directory. Then, System Directory. 
नेक्स्ट एक्सपेंड करेंट कंट्रोल सेट नेक्स्ट कंट्रोल आफ्टर दैट एक्सपेंड डिवाइस गार्ड देन सिनेरियोस क्लिक ऑन हाइपरवाइजर एनफोर्स कोड इंटीग्रिटी इन द राइट पैनल लोकेट द इनेबल्ड डिवर्ड 32 बिट वैल्यू इफ इट्स डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट यू वी नीड टू क्रिएट इट डबल क्लिक ऑन द इनेबल्ड वैल्यू एंड सेट इट्स डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू टू ऑन Now close the registry editor. After making the changes, restart your computer for modification to take effect. Okay now as you can see that the virtualization is enabled So I hope this guide was helpful for you if you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know please like comment and share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day